people welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before my name is Kirsten and this is where I art and craft and thank you so much for joining me today today we have a Marguerite Miller's 50 art college prompts and it's bingo card or game piece now I don't have a bingo card unless I went for a digital one and I'm not doing a digital one because this is about using scraps not going and printing off some more stuff so a game piece and to start with I thought I'm pretty sure I've got beetle drive cards somewhere and then I thought well they're not vintage and it's not they're, they're not a game piece I know I'm being picky but you know that's just the way way I work with these prompts so I thought game piece what can I do with a game piece and then I remembered long long ago back in the annals of time Monopoly used to actually have their pieces not as metal but as cardboard that sat on these little um wooden things now there's the hat a rocking horse a car a battleship and then this iron goes in there but this iron doesn't want to fit in there so I thought, well, maybe I can use one of these. In particular, I was thinking maybe I could use the iron because the iron won't go in the piece. Um, it's obviously got bent and fallen off at some point. I thought maybe I can use that. And then I thought, see, the iron doesn't even have its other side. Well, these all are double sided so that you can see them going round the board. I don't remember the rocking horse, but never mind. Um, so I did wonder about maybe whether I use that or what, maybe I use more than one of these. Or maybe I use two cars, I split them in half and use two cars. But I'm tempted to use this one because this one's already damaged and I quite like the shape of it. And I quite like the fact we've got the yellow and the red. And I can probably take off another couple of layers just to make it a bit thinner. That'll probably be easy enough. There we go. Dead easy, see? That, so that's going to make it thinner for putting on there. And I think that's me made up my mind. I'm going to use this as my bingo card game piece. So we now need some other bits round about it. And what I was thinking was, I've actually got this Monopoly somebody scribbled numbers on the back of it and there's something about it that says this is rules for playing the new short game in Monopoly oh you start with two title deeds each two properties each because people have written on the back there's quite a few bit of the I'm not sure if I want it all but I do want where it says Monopoly I think so maybe we'll use a bit of that just because it ties in with the iron or maybe we won't we shall see what else we pick out uh, see I'm tempted almost to go for something like this because I just feel that although it's different colours there's kind of something that goes with that because it's an iron isn't that bizarre Shall we have a wee look and see what else is in here that might might make me go, oh, we could try that. Right, let's see where we get to with this. I'm not con not convinced about that at the moment, actually. I feel like I want something. We need, need some more. See, that's good. That's good. That gives us some more colour. I quite like the fact that that echoes that shape as well. So I like that, but let's bring it a bit further away. I like that. That's a definite start we've got there. And then if we put this yellow underneath there, oh, that all goes quite nicely, doesn't it? Right, I've got this, but that's not going to go. Not sure why I brought that out. I think this is going to actually end up being too distracting and indeed it is so let's put that away this is some more yellow I have a feeling I want that behind that just to make the red stand oh yeah so that it 
keeps the iron there. Do we want this? I'm not convinced we want this. Look at this way. Oh, quite like that bit there. I could do with something more with a bit more colour like this one. That's a bit of lovely jelly printing. <clears throat> Want this with a bit more detail on it maybe. That's kind of slightly different than the jelly print bit. I don't know if I want a bigger bit of this. Oh yeah, that's better, isn't it? Do I want it that way over or do I want it? Because these do look different when they're... No, I think I want it that way over, even though I lose some of the colour on it. Right, I need to decide how much, or do I want to keep all of that, maybe? Maybe put that up and keep all of that. Put that in there, and then that could go round that way. It's almost like I'm playing at this being a of material underneath here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's why it looks awful. We could put this one in here then. That. That kind of echoes that shape again. So that's why I kind of quite like that. Maybe I'll just put that as an echo of the shape with that in the middle of it without saying anything more. I kind of <coughs> I kind of like that actually. I have not ended up using Monopoly. I think, although we could do with another splash of red, so maybe we put some red. See, I don't have very many red bits, do I? Let me find another bit of red. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a bit pinky, isn't it? Oh, there's a bit of red. There's a bit of red, a bit of red raffia. So if maybe I were to take that off. Maybe I need to remove this. See, we've got a wee bit of red there. that on there is that it I would not red the other way around so it doesn't clash with that red maybe oh because there's red stars there as well is that better right, I think what we want to do is we want to take that off center that way and maybe we want to take that up a bit bring this down a bit further oops there's also a bit of red on that, isn't there? Yeah, I feel that kind of... We need another bit of this red, I think, for underneath here. Do we? I'm convinced about this bit now. Let's 
feel it's not adding anything to it now. Oh, that's better. It is getting very busy. This is in danger of getting lost. Although I do like it. That's definitely coming off. And if I actually could put another bit of red underneath that, that would give you your, although it does draw your eye a bit there. Yeah, now I've probably not got another bit in here and I'm not inclined to, to shorten this bit because I think this bit's the right kind of length. So I'm going to just get myself another wee bit of raffia, red raffia. I don't think this is the same one actually. Well, it might be. Let's just unpick it. There we go. I don't think it is the same, but it's roughly the same colour though. I'm just going to scooch it up a bit, make it a bit more. Crinkly, that one's very crinkly. I think maybe because that one's been used as raffia rather than just having somebody un unravel it. So I don't mind that that's torn. Now the question is, do I want anything underneath? I thought, do you know what? I'm not convinced I do this time, but I think I want, what I'd like to do is I'd like to edge all my pieces. And that's not something I normally do. And what is more, I don't think I want rhubarb stock. I want a red that's not rhubarb stock. So I don't know why I'm looking in the rhubarb stock. Rhubarb stalk is a, a red that's got quite a bit of blue going on in it and it's not got a lot of blue in that. That's all kind of yellow and green. So I've taken stays on Valentine and I'm going to ink all these bits up and then stick them down. Now I've got a dilemma here. I inked it all and I've stunk it. Stunk? stuck it all down and I really feel like this iron has really kind of vanished um, and I don't quite know what to do about it because now everything's stuck down but I need to do something to lift that iron back up again and I did contemplate maybe doing some enamelling but because of this tissue paper here and because I've got metallics in this bit of paper behind it and I don't know how they're going to act to the react to the heat I'm reluctant to do that which kind of leaves me in a bit of a dilemma as to what I do I, I really feel I need to somehow lift up the yellow but I don't want to draw on it because as if I draw on it I'm likely to not do the right thing so I'm going to try like, try and lift the whole thing up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I'm going to try and lift the whole thing off. Oh, which I'm actually able to do because the glue is still very tacky. And what I need to do is I need to put something underneath here because I'm not convinced I even want to enamel this. I just think it needs something underneath it to kind of bring it up a bit now could I use it something like that and give it like a stamp I then lose the shape idea which I was so keen on oh but that actually but it then goes very flat again into it 
I think it's because this in itself is quite flat. Yeah, I don't like that colour at all. That's that's just making it too flat. I need something quite um, something that's going to make it pop. I wonder. I wonder if I've picked the wrong item. We didn't really use anything much from our old stuff. We didn't. I, I don't think I looked through this at all. Actually, did I? We've got something in here maybe that's going to see I could use that, but that's another new colour, so I'm not inclined to do that. Oh, I could use a bit of this with that. Well that would make it stand out, wouldn't it? Now, do I cut it in the shape to echo the shape again? Or do I do it square? I'm very conscious of the fact that we've now got... I think that then needs to be put on another bit of something red. I think we need to do some layers. So, oh, actually, look, it's red on the other side. No, you see, then it's lost it. Right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a line of this off here. This is very old vellum. Um, you can tell it's vellum because of the see-through nature of it. Uh, but it's actually proper old vellum as opposed to the stuff you buy nowadays. Right, I think that needs a layer of red behind it as well. So what I'm going to do is, do I want a layer? Yeah. I'm going to stick this on here first off. Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to get myself another bit of this out first off. Just to make sure that's what I do want. Whoops, torn it, that doesn't matter greatly. Right, so put that on there and that on there. Yes, I think that's what I want. Right, okay, and it kind of ties together these two bits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this. on here Oops, let's cut that like that and let's choose this so I can shape it better there we go There we go, and then we're going to put this on here. Probably cut the fold that in half and still put it on there, can't we? Now the question is whether I want to then shape that again or just leave that on there unshaped. I think I want to cut it again. So let's Glue this one on there, and then we can cut cut around around it again. I don't want to actually cut it the exact shape. I might cut it round this time or something. Let's see. 
Yeah, I'm not going to cut it round the oval or something. So let's start by cutting off this bottom bit. I definitely don't want. Let's just do this and see where we get to. See, it is almost an oval shape anyway, so I might as well just cut it round. Ah. Now, that does make it stand out better, doesn't it? And it kind of echoes what's happening there. It brings it down to what's happening here. So let's stick that down. I'm going to call that one done. That was bingo card or game piece and I used an old Monopoly game piece. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in somebody else who's also doing the Marguerite Miller prompts, Stacey over in Crafty Dragon Creations is. So I've put a link to her channel down below so you can, if you just want to see what somebody else is doing. Um, there's also information about the prompts down below. Uh, if you want to join in as well. I know it's an eclectic lot of stuff I do, but that's because I do an eclectic lot of stuff. Um, and if there's something you don't fancy, then maybe there'll be another video along that you do. Until next time, you take care and remember, keep crafting. Bye for now.